Yo, what up, street talk, street gods, street bloggity vlog, carpet talk talks. Okay, some uh, turbo thoughts. Uh, this one is sin pari without equal. So the motto of the Delta Force and the US military. So during pandemic, I actually met like super interesting guys. A lot of guys in the military who would go to the park in Providence and work out with me. Da -da -da. And uh, upon talking to a lot of these guys, uh, some interesting things that I found is um, kind of a, in terms of all the best, the most lethal or desirable um, form of military was the Delta Force, even more than the Rangers. And it's actually interesting because you know when something is interesting or desirable or good or whatever, when you actually cannot find that much inter uh, information about it on the internet. So for example, I mean, I'm just gonna go on tangents, right? <laughs> EK tangents, tangents are always good thoughts, okay? So for example, Greg Glassman, right? The co-founder um, of CrossFit, right? Why is there like no information about him on Google or online? It's, it's crazy, right? Even Wikipedia, like certainly the guy has started this multi, you know, billion dollar functional fitness empire. How come his Wikipedia page gets redirected to uh, CrossFit? I mean, my theory is that he has a pretty good like internet scrubbing team to get rid of his um, uh, online presence because he's probably done questionable things, right? Apparently the guy's a total scumbag, but uh, I mean, never met him in real life, so, but <laughs> I seen pictures of him online, I'm like, does this guy even work out, right? Uh, I'm like, could he go to Gold's Gym Venice and unrack the legendary 330 pound dumbbells? Uh, me thinks not, but anyways, uh, proof's in the pudding. Uh, I, and I, I don't think CrossFit works, I think uh, I'm, uh, pretty i mean i think it's good for like an average person who kind of wants to get interested in weightlifting and like screw classes but uh quite anti-crossfit I'll, I'll discuss more of this later but anyways sin paris so tesla uh some thoughts on tesla real quick right tesla uh tesla things here so i i kind of think that actually you know tesla and stuff like that is actually a good investment for the future because you know, everyone right now thinks of Tesla like, like a car company. It's actually an energy company. And I think the energy is the future. Um, even if you go on the Tesla website, go check out the, the um, whatchamacallit, the solar panel wall thing, right? It says uh, power everything. And uh, even I think uh, maybe the trend is more and more people going to try to live off the grid or create your own grid or create your own power wall, whatever is kind of a, interesting thought um but generally the, the the thought that comes to my mind is once you are at a position in your life where you are without equal uh then what right and so i mean some superficial thoughts uh, you know share your knowledge your wealth your ideas with others uh, it's a super additive pie is that the more you share your whatever's with the world you're gonna build up your strength and your wealth stuff like that I was even thinking, it's like, what is the point of wealth? What is the point of uh, philosophy? What is the point of uh, wisdom? To me, wisdom is applied knowledge to make you stronger or more powerful. You know, maybe more metaphorically and literally. So, for example, uh, the wisdom I glean from, you know, my EK method, one rep max lifting style has positively allowed me to become way stronger, superior physique, et cetera. Got the bigger muscles and the bigger strengths, and it's uh, been uh, advantageous to uh, everything. I'll share more about my technique uh, later. But anyways, um, and yeah, and I think, uh, I really think that the, the future is going to be kind of a combination of, uh, you know, supporting others, uh, supporting the world, uh, sharing your thoughts. Um, I still think that media is the future. I'm also recording this on a GoPro mini. The I think media is good. Like, so for example, uh, USMilitaryDefense.gov, you guys watching this, 
uh, you want strategies to help recruit more dudes to join the military, shoot me an email, eric at erickim.com. Um, essentially, I think the future of media is, you know, take a GoPro mini, buy the chest mount, shoot it ultra, ultra wide mode, and um, show your point of view for the future. So I think the reason why this is the future is, you know, like all these, <laughs> it's like, you know, why, why do people like virtual reality and, you know, porn? It's like, they love the point of view porn, POV porn, POV stands for point of view. You want to share your point of view. Or, you know, you you hit up the red tube or the you porn. You could uh, see the, the filter, the point of view. And everyone wants to feel like in the shoes of that point of view. And so even with uh, weightlifting, you know, stuff like that. By showing your point of view, A, it's, it's good entertainment. And B, I think it actually positively motivates people to to do the thing um, even if you read the battle what battle angel alita the og comic um, the future of the media is that you have the goggles on and then you could feel the sensories and you put in the shoes of other people or also like um if you think about ready player one slash ready player two i actually really like ready player two i'd recommend the read it kind of showed the future in which you know you could essentially share your experiences and put yourself into the the shoes of other people and then you could directly experience the world through their perspective i mean uh, i was experimenting with virtual reality stuff um the gopro what the 360 cam uh that kind of stuff the only uh critique i had of it or why i didn't like about it was it was just too slow in terms of the transfer speeds and uh upload speeds, etc. even with the fastest internet speeds possible. Um, but alas, that's a kind of a, a tech issue, but I think it'll be hopefully resolved soon. I think uh, GoPro is still, I think, the, the future for media and stuff like that. Um, so <laughs> if you haven't seen it, right, like uh, just uh, uh, check out the check out the virtual reality porn as a way to uh, reconnaissance and figure out uh, the future of uh, technology and media um i mean i still do think that the future of media is uh probably still going to be you know 2d based i mean unfortunately the the phone metaphor in going away nowhere soon um you know the iphone is essentially going to be more or less uh, the same in terms of the form factor i think that apple is where is Apple going? I mean, like, I think currently speaking, Apple is currently facing a slow death towards uh, mediocrity, is my thought. Um, like, no substantive innovations happening in the, the realm of Apple. It's just going to keep making, um, you know, the, the camera better, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, I mean, it's a good future for us photographers. And then, you know, Apple's still trying to jump on the cinema bandwagon, which I think is a smart idea too. If you look at B&H photo, video.com, all the new interesting, innovative uh, cameras, none of them are photo-based. They're all about uh, doing cinema. Like even the new, what? Canon C cameras or the new Lumix cameras look super dope. The, the future is um, there's definitely going to be media. I went to Costco the other day saw these freaking crazy what like 8k tvs 10k 12k huge tv i'm like man it's like this resolution on this is crazy um and so i just think that there is a future for creating uber uber high def uh media once again the issue is like do you have an internet connection fast enough to even upload um uh the video footage etc um but yeah, I still think that, uh, you know, the, the pie is infinite. I mean, if there's anything we've learned about media, it really is kind of like an all-you-could-eat buffet that has no, that's a limitless pit. Um, the hilarity is I don't watch any media. I just create. I don't consume. Uh, like, it's, it's actually the irony. It's like, you know somebody is like a real cool YouTuber or creator when, you know, 
I make a lot of uh, videos for YouTube and yeah, podcasts, but I don't watch any YouTube or it's just a convenient place to host stuff. Um, yeah, but the future is going to definitely be uh, a combination of fitness, uh, physique, being able to just walk around, get some nice sun, uh, share your turbo thoughts with others. Um, yeah, I really do think that one of the critical things is motivation, right? Motivating people to move, to think, to create and to become more.